Welcome back to Land the House. Traditionally, the hydraulic ram pump has a waste valve and an inline valve, such as the model sold at landthehouse.com. <laughs> Shameless promoting. But I was asked the question, what happens if you add a second waste valve here? Is it going to work? Will it improve anything or will it uh, decrease something? So let's find out in today's video. Here's the setup. I have a five gallon bucket set at a known height of roughly three feet. And I have a drive pipe that is approximately 25 feet long. So that's going to be a consistency there as well. Knowing that the water source is going to be consistent as well as the drive pipe length, there are two values I'd like to keep track of. The first one is how quickly the water drops in the bucket. So let's say we use up the five gallons in three minutes with one check valve. And if we use the water in two minutes with two, we know that it consumes more water. Um, that's kind of what I'm expecting. But I also want to keep track of pressure. So I have a uh, pressure gauge here at the end. This is the Rainbird. Um, if you want to buy this, I've got a link in the description below for that gauge. So I'm thinking what may happen is if we have two valves, it's going to be able to pop a stronger pressure wave with this uh, setup. So on the first run, I want to use just the traditional ram pump with the one valve and one uh, inline valve. And then second, I want to run with both valves and just see if it consumes more water with two valves and if it has a greater pressure. So. Um, I also should probably check to see the time it takes to build that pressure. So um, maybe three things we'll take a look at. So let's get started. I have the water filled to the edge of this dark blue ring in my bucket. I have purged the air out of the drive pipe. So the pump is now ready to start. So I want to time how long it takes for the pump to stop working and see what the pressure is. And then I guess see at what point it stops building pressure. So let's start the test. This bucket here is only supporting the ram pump to keep it from falling over. So I'm gonna open this and hit the start button on my stopwatch. Let's see. Get a couple of clicks here to make sure it's running. Okay, there we go. All right, stopwatch has been started, pump is going. Looks like we've reached 20 PSI in 20 seconds. It's been a minute 30, and we are just approaching 40 PSI. And the bucket is getting pretty close to empty up here. We've hit uh, 44 PSI, it looks like. Time is 2.30 or 2.25. I just heard the bucket gulp, so there we go. All right, 2.50 was the time and 50 PSI. Great results. I've actually never gotten 50 PSI from this setup before, so uh, it's nice to see that. Well, it's time to modify this to add this additional check valve. I'm gonna add it up here between the union and the old valve, just to see what happens here. So let's pull this off. Now, if you're using the other style of ram pump where the waste valve is on the other side of the uh, pressure tank, then you could just add uh, an elbow instead of a T there. But this should do the trick right here with no problem. It's gonna be a fun test. I had never really considered adding a second waste valve. Okay, let's add this union back on here. Okay, there we go, two waste valves. Once again, I have the water level at the bottom of that dark blue ring in my bucket. And drive pipe, same length. So the only change is that there are now two waste valves. And I have already drained the pressure here from the system, so it is 
back at zero. So we're now ready for this next test. Now, in the traditional setup, you, all you have to do to get the pump going is just push the one valve, but now there are two. So I'm gonna see if all I have to do is get one started and they both start working. I don't know. It should be interesting to find out. I'm gonna go ahead and open the valve and probably have to get this primed again. Aha. What I'm already seeing is that I would have to have a larger drive pipe to get this running. The half inch pipe is not big enough to supply enough water to both of these valves. Interesting. Well, there you go. That's some concrete evidence already that uh, you'd have to have this drive pipe a lot bigger. Whew. Yep, not gonna work. There is a technique that I've learned when working with low head pressure systems, and that is to tilt the check valves far to the side. Now this does reduce the efficiency pretty significantly, but as you can see, I should be able to get both of these running now. Okay. So, it's definitely inconsistent because of the angle though. But it's working, so let's run this test again. Just like before, I have the water at the top of the bucket, coming down the same drive pipe length. And I have the pump tilted so that it will be able to start with less water. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start the timer once this is working on its own again. And so, uh, we may lose a little bit of water, but that's how the previous test was. So, let's go ahead and give this a try again. So, I'm going to crank this open here. Okay. It is fun how when one is released, it does release both. So I'm getting this thing primed up now. Okay. I have started the timer. At 19 seconds, it has reached 22 PSI. Uh-oh, we've hit a problem though. Let me tilt this down a little bit more. It's getting slow here. All right, 35 seconds. Let's go check out the bucket up here. Yeah, it's pulling water really quick now. Fifty-eight, uh, one minute, and it's reached uh, about 37 PSI. Okay, still going. I feel like the bucket's about to pull here. Okay, I just heard the bucket pull. A minute 25, and we reached... Uh, about 39 PSI. Man, great results on this test. So, pretty quickly we realized that having two half-inch valves pulling from a single half-inch drive pipe is not gonna work. These require uh, too much flow rate than the drive pipe was able to supply. So, whenever it warms up out here, I'll head down to the creek and we'll try this again. I'm assuming that everything up until this T right here is going to have to be three quarter inch or bigger to supply enough water to run both of these sitting straight up. Now, as we saw, it used a lot more water and I had to even have the valves tilted to about a 45, which reduces the potential uh, significantly. 
I wouldn't say quite as much as half, but um, pretty close to it. So I do think that this is valid because it did build up um, almost 30 PSI in a lot quicker time, even with the tilt as it was. So my thoughts are we should try this again with a bigger drive pipe all the way up onto the valves. Now, I wonder if I should even do uh, three quarter inch uh, T's here and then reduce down to the half inch at the very end. I have the components to try that out, so we may have to do that. But I think this definitely will work with the right setup. Now, um, you can use a small pump to get that pressure and that um, extra pump there. So. It's, I'm curious, um, is it going to be able to build up a higher PSI with less water and um, therefore be able to pump water higher? Might be a really great option to look into. So if you've got some comments, write those in the comment section down below. I would love to hear it. And if you've enjoyed this first test, if you would hit that share button, that's uh, huge for growing the channel. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.